Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. That's such an iconic... Load up? Exactly. I'm yeah, yeah. Your headset. Oh, that's right. Crap, I forgot to give Julian his headset. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'll go ahead and do that intro while I plug him in. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to Vote for Holt, where we have just finished our Message in Haunted Mansion Let's Play, and we are now starting a timeless classic, Treasure in the Royal Tower. I don't... I can't really explain it, but this game just holds a special place in my heart. Yeah, it, so... I think it was the second game we haven't played, right? Second game we were played, I think, was Ghost Dogs. It, Maybe. It, it wasn't one of our first. It was it was down there, for mm -hmm. sure. It was. It's always just been such a cozy and fun game to explore. Mm -hmm. Because in Julian and I's youth playing these games, we had no idea what was going on. Half the time, we didn't even know how to load and save games, so we would just start a new game every time we booted it up. Mm -hmm. And this was always one of the most fun games to just explore and mess around with. Definitely. It's, it's super got, nostalgic. It's got great characters, too. I think it's a really good difficulty. It's an ex It's just an excellent game for beginners. Nancy yep. So we're going to go ahead and hit Senior Detective. I'm just talking over Nancy right now. Dear George... So much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Whitford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. This music is so freaking good. The harps accord, though. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter, if he could oh, contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? Look at those cheekbones. I feeling like there was something Yikes. he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Whitford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. The inventor of it's chocolate milk. Mm, yes. Dead end corridors for one thing. And I notice one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet the Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell How did you get that picture? He's literally in his ski shop. <laughs> Dude, this is a really long opening letter. Yeah. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. <sighs> Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. All right, good preface there, Nancy. Now All right, you know something I've noticed? The first four games, could be the fifth one too, have a track in the soundtrack that is titled after the game. It'll be STFD, MHM, or TRT, stuff like that. And this game, that was TRT that we just heard. And every opening letter is made to be the exact length of the song, and then the game starts. Hmm. So, TRT was a longer track than, like, MHM yeah, or any of yeah. the others. That's so interesting. That's probably why it lasted longer than any of the others. Oh. Okay, so we got a weird noise coming from over here. Get that's that the first radiator. Thing. The radiator is broken. I love how there are four people staying in this hotel, and he gives us the room with the broken radiator. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Thanks, Dexter. We should do the broken radiator challenge where cool. we just queue up this, like, ten hours of this noise and try to go to sleep. Uh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, boy. Or we could just break our radiator and do it that way. Of course, we might burn the house down. So, let's start off by looking through Nancy's room. I gotta say, I really... Sassy detective. Poll results. The verdict on what makes a case truly irresistible... Fingerprinting 101. I gotta say, this this is one of the more simpler rooms that Nancy stays in, but I love it because it reminds me of, like, the Kalahari and Great Wolf Lodge mm -hmm. hotel rooms. It's like, it's a realistic hotel room, yeah. Yeah, especially Midwest. So this is an interesting entry about how you can use dust to pick up fingerprints on any surface. I wonder if that's foreshadowing a puzzle. <laughs> I know. In one game, you do see a puzzle like that, but it's not actually foreshadowing. I forget which game it is. There's, like, no fingerprinting puzzle. Hmm. All right, let's make a quick work of snooping around real quick so we don't have to listen to that radiator. Um, for one thing, super hard to find. <laughs> Wickford Castle room key. We are room number 205. And then in this drawer, this is our locker, locker number. 517. I think that's easy enough to remember. Yeah, yeah, and we can't take it with us anyhow, so we're going to have to remember it. Uh, that was all that was in that desk. 517. Uh, Nancy's suitcases. No journal this time. Wickford but Castle. Got the mom jeans, though. Yeah, always gotta have the mom jeans. You know it. Mm. This um, this castle is one of the main Nancy Drew things I've tried to build over and over in Minecraft, and it never works out, because <laughs> I, I can never tell if I should start by just building the lobby or mapping out the entire floor plan. I've gotten pretty far into it before, but never goes for the whole time. 
Well, that's a nice vacation brochure, but we're, we've already decided to come here, so it doesn't really do us any good. Let's, Let's check the drawers here. Some tissues. I forget, can we look at all the drawers or just the top one? I think just the top here. A menu. This look is at like, this menu. This is like actually the only time we can look at the menu, because otherwise after this, it'll just become an item in our inventory. What would I get? First of all, pretty good prices for hotel food. <laughs> Sugar crusted rhubarb jerky royale. Jeez. That's a pretty expensive chili cheese no, dog. There's no price. <laughs> the broccoli surprise, better than nothing. <laughs> Hot diggity, all you can eat fried chicken drumsticks, ten dollars. Ooh, all you can eat chicken drumsticks for ten dollars? Hmm. That's crazy. You gotta be losing money with that. Anchovy heaven? Oh. Okay, I, that's I've read enough. <laughs> so I'll just take that with us. All right. Well, let's get out and... Oh, I always forget. No, it's this, this door. door. It's this yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a floor plan up there for a fire escape. I always remember that painting for some reason. Yeah. There's a few paintings that are just, like, ingrained into my head. Oh. Is, uh... I just noticed this. This is one of the medallion designs, isn't it? Or maybe it's mm. not. It's similar. Yeah. Ah, uh, gotta love the architecture here. Mm -hmm. And the old elevator. Perfect. Oh, I want to go just, on elevator It's so rides. expansive. It's so nice. No game ever topped the elevator in this one. Definitely. I just want to go for a quick walk mm. through the halls. Mm. TV. Mm. Dead end. Hmm. That always scared me as a kid. I, rem I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I remember as a kid always getting lost. Even, mm -hmm. even though, like, Ooh. sound of typing. Even though, now that we play it today, this is like, one of the, it's an extremely simple layout. Uh -huh. <laughs> we just always got lost as kids. Oh, I love this little... This place always creeped me out for some reason. No, you know what was really creepy to me here? Let's take it's a look the, at this real quick. The dead end here. Mm -hmm. It's such an ominous looking hallway. There's Marie Antoinette, of course. This one. Yeah, this just feels out of place creepy. This one goes nowhere. Yes, it uh, does, Nancy. All right, let's go speak with the... Uh, the concierge about our broken radiator. Concierge. Monsieur Gustave. <laughs> Get uh, the knights. Love the knights in armor. I, f I forget what the name of this weapon is. It's someone in the comments will know. <laughs> Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? All square. All square. I just need a stamp to send this letter, and what then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. The library? The library. That's another thing that I love about this game. You start off by going to him to mail the letter that you were writing and reading at the opening. Yeah, that is a cool touch. Uh-huh. Kind of like ghost dogs. Sounds like you mean business, Mr. Egan. What happened? Too many overdue books? <laughs> Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, she's gonna be pretty upset. Miss hmm. Lane should have been a bigger thing in the plot. Possibly. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Hmm. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Wow, that's too bad. Well, can you recommend any other points of interest for me to check out? Depends on what you're interested in. Our special this week is the crazy old bird upstairs. <laughs> Just follow your ears. Jeez. The peck, peck, peck of that typewriter will lead you right to her. What if she's listening? Yeah, probably. Sounds like you've had some sort of a run-in with this bird yourself. <laughs> well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Huh. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. And we definitely so just what she want me to do about it. How quirky of her. Sounds like you're swamped, Mr. Egan. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and sign up for some chores. Oh, Nancy. Like you're swamped, I don't Mr. think she Egan. knows what she's getting Is there into. Any way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not, not a, a bellhop. Bell <laughs> I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Gotcha. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Yes, you look You're very a trooper. Very busy over there, Mr. Egan. Ah, uh, yes. Just Rummaging through, shuffling <laughs> back and forth, left to right. Just <laughs> does that the whole game. <laughs> what a beast. 
hard at work. All right. You know, one of the things I think that really sells the atmosphere in this game Crack is that for the, fire. not just that, but the first half, everywhere you go, you always hear the whistling wind outside. That's true. Yeah, if yeah, that yeah. wind wasn't there, it would instantly feel much not as good. Much well-spoken. <laughs> much not as good. <laughs> Major figures and events of the French Revolution. The storming of the Bastille. This will be important some time. Jean Rebu. I thought that said Jean Lafitte for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Crossover. All right. Uh, ooh, who is this savvy looking woman by the fire? In all Hi, red. I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? I really can't. It's not like anything has happened three times like that to me. <laughs> Why would it be one of us? Apparently, the only guests who made it here before the blizzard set in are you, me, and Professor Hotchkiss. Uh, and then there's the on-staff suspects, Dexter, our friendly desk clerk, and Jacques Brunet, ski instructor extraordinaire. Ooh. Jacques Brunet? Jacques Brunet? Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500-meter slalom, but he totally Slow. choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, <laughs> but at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. That is a yes. really good character backstory. Uh-huh. Oberyn Martell. <laughs> Who's Professor Hotchkiss? Oh my gosh! Wait till you hear this! <laughs> Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Well, we already know that she didn't tell anyone what was stolen. You said she's a professor. Do you know what she teaches? I'm really not sure. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Pop quiz. Espanol. Hardly. <laughs> I'm just a humble photojournalist humble covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. Good transition. And this place is <laughs> the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? What a beast. <laughs> you must know a great deal about this place. Not really, but no. I sure want to get into that tower that came from France. It'd be great for my story. Oh, would it? Too bad Wickford sealed it off. Maybe it's his ghost making those creepy noises at night. Creepy noises? What noises? Oh, just your average bump in the night sound effects. It's probably just Dexter trying to spook up the hotel for the publicity. Sounds I mean, familiar. <laughs> we start the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. I'll let you get back to your magazine. <laughs> Stay warm. So Some that's Lisa. Something that just glares out to me of her character is almost every feature about her is red. Yeah. Except for her pants. Like Yo, her hold the hold up. I think she might even have a, a tiniest bit of red nail polish. She does. No, go look at her. She has Hi red... There. How's it red going? Yes, she does. Red eyes, red hair, red lips... Red, red dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's let her go. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. She's, she's very red. That's the point I'm trying to get across. Yes. Uh, this first floor hallway, this is just as easy to get lost in. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's, that's right. The, the power's out. Um, it's too dark. I should take the elevator. Hmm. All right, well, let's go downstairs. I always love this bottom part. I remember mm -hmm. making this out of cobblestone bricks oh. on my build. Can you imagine having a room down here? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be... I a... don't know if I'd love it or be really creeped out. It'd be a different experience. And one of my biggest uh, qualms with this game is it's so hard to navigate down here. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some there, part Jay. screens. Some of the point and clicks, like... The window in which you have to have your cursor is so small, especially up here when we turn right into this hallway. Okay, well, Jamie made it look easy, <laughs> but it's really difficult, I swear. It's because I'm a pro. Yeah, obviously. All right. Um, is Jacques in? No. Nope. He's what was 9 that? to 12, and then he takes a break from 12 to 2. There was something on the sill, though. It's 1230. Oh, you're right. A paintbrush. Seems a little out of place. Okay, so he comes back in an hour and a half, but... We can open that locker. Oh, yeah, word number 310, right? Mm-hmm, 517. Hmm. 310. 
This game taught me how locks work, too. Yeah. A pretty important skill to learn at such a young age. Are you supposed to go the other way? That's how real the locks work. Not Nancy Drew locks. Seven, but it's not working. Oh, and it reset. I wonder if the lock is uh, I broken. guess we gotta talk to Dexter about that then. Yeah, or somebody go, at least. Go give a call to Baxter. I forgot there's restrooms here. How fast does the time move in this game? Okay, it's already past 15 minutes, so. Mm -hmm. Um. Whoa, there's a sauna. There is a sauna. How did I never see that? That's cool. Man, we, we need some sauna access in a remaster someday. Dexter, Jacques. Oh, this must be Christy Lane's locker. Yeah. Sammy and Mary. How about Doyle Burnett? Does he get a locker? <laughs> oh, I always love this door. Uh, it's like the oh North boy. Pole out there. You forgot a space after that comma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go mess around in the elevator. Or we could try to get the light switch on with the. Oh, we could if box. we wanted to be a do-gooder, because you know Dexter's gonna ask us to fix that circuit breaker. In fact, you know I I did just call the elevator, but I do want to just play with the circuit breaker to be a menace to society. A menace okay, that was that was the hard turn right there. I got lucky on that one. Yeah. First, let's just pull this lever over it's and over. A, it's a speed run killer to be sure. All right, and yay! Oh boy. Okay, okay. So I hit the first ones. Oh, okay, okay, not that one. Not that one, no. Uh, I get the feeling it's one of these, but I already hit these ones, you so... You hit everything on the left side. You know what's funny is when you do actually hit everything. You know, while, while we're waiting for them to show up, let's see what I turned off. Because it, it's funny, because all those do actually have actions that they affect in the game. So I didn't fix anything. I know one of them is... I wonder if the power's on. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's one of them. You can just, you know, apparently there's one switch that just directly affects this outlet... But the lamp is on, because you can yeah, see the light. So little... it directly affects the socket that the alarm is plugged into. <laughs> that's a little odd. I didn't know that's how currents work. Uh, it's only 1.15. Come on. Just sleep 45 minutes. I can't. The power's out. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of set myself up for that one. <laughs> All right. Into mm -hmm. the elevator. Mm -hmm. Back down to the basement. What a classic elevator. I always mm -hmm. love being able to see the stone. Mm -hmm. More elevators should have mm -hmm. gates like that, because they're scary. Okay. <laughs> um, so we switched everything on the left side, and the only thing we noticed happening was our alarm went off. So now everything should be back to normal. I'd switch some of the whites on the top. Yeah, okay. Let's do another Give quick... Give that a try, and then go up to the winding staircase. Alright. I mean, I'm assuming that we turned two things off, even if we got it right. Yeah, and we go. did get it right. Oh, but now we don't know what to fix. I think it'll be fine. Any lights off around here? Alright, um... Yeah, okay, if there's... I guess we'll just leave those on and see if there are any consequences from that. Yeah, it should work out. Kind of hoping that there will be none. Is Dexter not the one to talk to about our missing... or messed up locker? No, I think it's Jacques. 15 minutes. Hmm. Well, we got some more time to kill. I can't believe I'm actually waiting for this guy to get off his lunch break. This is inconvenient timer. Oh, that's right. We Ooh. could, uh... Looks like there's a great big coffee stain. I know. It's... Maybe it's water damage. A ladder might as well. There's something down there. Hmm. Ooh. I always love that screen. So this is the elevator shaft. See if you can go up that ladder. It's delightfully spooky. Okay, this this place is horrible to navigate. Mm -hmm. I always forget that. No, I don't no, want go go to go down there. Go to that screen. The screen? No, go up. Oh, yeah. that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. So Nancy just looks down every time. There you go. Oh, we got it. Wow, this is a long ladder. Yes, it is. Left. Woohoo. I, man, honestly, crawling in a vent like this must be so scary in real life. Be. Especially like, if you were claustrophobic, I probably couldn't do this. Imagine if the heat came on and you just started getting die. first degree burns. I don't know body. how Nancy turns around. <laughs> That's a good point. She has to go all the way. Wait. Yeah, how are you doing this, Nancy? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> she just contorts or like backflips or something. Oh, here's the library, though. It is the library, isn't it? Uh oh. Um, Retreat! Back up, back up. I always forget that that happens. <laughs> first time. 
Dexter. The library really is a mess. Looks like a bomb went off. Darn you crazy old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. Is he speaking in third person? <laughs> He's referring to himself <laughs> as the crazy old man. <laughs> the least you could have done was left me a hint. Now this always freaked me out because I thought he looks at you. Yeah. I don't have time to clean this up. I love I love how the grate changes after that so we can actually see through it again. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, this library music though. I wish we could go around this upper corridor then. Yeah, what's stopping us? I'm not sure. We just can't turn left. Well, we gotta be able to see left somehow. Okay, maybe not. Another beautiful winding staircase. Yeah. Oh, uh, what a what a nice library. Yeah, okay, there's literally nothing obstructing us from going over the balcony. I know, it's just like it's annoying flawed game design. Ah, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. what a place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 